Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. My name is Maria and we are going to do some really, really expensive skincare today. I thought it was about time we did another review and I am out of a few things. I just finished up some products actually yesterday. I have had these goodies sitting in my closet and I cannot wait to try them out. So we are going to be trying the Cleanser Moisture Mask Radiance Face Oil and using the muslin cloth. So to give you the best review possible, we are going to try them right now on the spot, see what we think. I have never tried any of these, and then I am also going to be trying them over the next few weeks. I will pop in with you guys to see how I'm liking them along the way, and then I'll give you a final review to see if they are worth the money, because we are going to go over all the sizes, all the costs, and these suckers are expensive. So if you're going to invest in something, let's try to make sure it's going to be worth it. So before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up, and cue the intro. I know, I look absolutely ridiculous in this video. Okay, so what I have here is an Eve Lom gift set. I actually was able to snag this at the end of the holiday season, probably because it didn't sell in the store and then it ended up at TJ Maxx and then it ended up with me. So it says that the retail value of this set is $182 and then in retail stores it this was sold for $135. Now TJ Maxx, I don't know how many times this was discounted or if you can see that, but this ended up being $10 at my TJ Maxx. I have never seen Eve Lom there before, so don't like run out and think it's going to be there. I think I would just got really lucky on this one. Um, let me know down in the comments if anyone else has ever found this at TJ Maxx, but I've been wanting to try this brand. It is so expensive, so I snagged it for sure and was like, we'll do a review on the channel. So I waited to try it until I could try it with you guys. So in this kit is a cleanser and a muslin cloth that we are going to be using together. We're going to head over to my bathroom to try those out. Um, we are also then going to try the moisture mask and at the very end we're going to go in with this pretty face oil. So I will walk you through the products as we go so it's not like information overload but the first one we are going to try is this nice cleanser. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about it here and then we'll switch over to my bathroom so we can actually try it out together. Also, you can see, yes, my shirt does say Sunday fun day. I am filming on a Sunday, so it is quite appropriate. But anyway, so this cleanser, I looked up all the costs. Um, on Eve Lom's website, this 50 milliliter cleanser sells for $55. It looks like the best seller is the 200 milliliter version, and that one sells for $135. So definitely quite expensive. Let's head over to the bathroom and see what we think. Okay, I've got my hair all put up. We are ready to go. I'm sorry if it sounds a little strange in here. We are in my bathroom, so the acoustics are not great. Okay, so in regard to the cleanser and the muslin cloth, it says it is a multi-benefit product. The Eve Long Cleanser intensely cleanses and melts away traces of makeup, including waterproof. With a signature blend of botanical oils, it cleanses, soothes, and hydrates skin up to 12 hours after use. The specially woven 100% cotton muslin cloth gently exfoliates and promotes microcirculation. So again, here is the packaging on the cleanser. Let's open it up. It does have the seal on it. So as we open this, this is what we have. So I am a big proponent of the double cleanse, which means you go in with a cleanser to remove your makeup, or if you're not wearing makeup, just to get all the oil and impurities off, and then you go in with a second cleanser. So for today, I'm just going to use this twice as my first cleanse and my second cleanse. The first cleanse, I did decide to wear makeup for this video so that we could see how well it is coming off. So it is kind of a, see, it's not like a liquid, it's not coming off. That's really normal and that's the kind I prefer for like the first step in a double cleanse routine. So you do go in with a dry face with this. It says to warm a small amount of cleanser between your fingers. So I am going to just scoop out a little bit. There we go. <sighs> Hopefully it doesn't fall. Use circular movements to massage onto dry skin. So I'm just going to kind of warm it up. It goes from kind of being that like hard solid or paste in the container to then kind of almost being like a gel on your fingers. I really like this kind of, of product. It's reminding me of the Clinique Take Your Day Away Balm. It's in like the purple container. I really like that. It's one of my favorites. 
So I'm just going to go in circular motions. It does have a light smell. It's almost like pepperminty. I can't really place it. Um, but kind of not tingly, but pepperminty. And then I'm going to rub down on my eyes. You don't want to pull too hard. Um, that's how you end up pulling wrinkles into your face if you do that enough over time. But I am trying to get that um, mascara and my eyeliner and everything that is on my face off. It does feel really nice on the skin. It does have a little bit of a gritty texture to remove your makeup. Um, but that kind of melts down as you are rubbing it into your skin. Probably should have rolled my sleeves up <laughs> so I can get the water. Okay, now the muslin cloth packaging is super cute. On their website right now, the three pack of their muslin cloths is $22. This, I believe, is just a single. But this is a nice big cloth. I will, I will give them that. <laughs> I have a newborn right now and this is reminding me of all his burp cloths because muslin is very absorbent so it is really good for things like this or for like spit up, sorry, TMI maybe. So it says to get the muslin cloth and run it under hot water and then we are going to lay it on the face and get all of this off. So I'm going to lay the hot cloth on my face. It says to leave it here for 15 seconds or so. It'll help open your pores and get them all cleansed. And then we are going to pull all that makeup and all that yuck off of your face. Now these are really good because rather than using makeup remover wipes that are not great for the environment, I'm guilty of using them, but I do like to use something like this. It is preferred because they are reusable. You can throw them in the wash. So it's doing a really good job of removing all of that makeup. You also probably, just for my first take of this product, you probably do not have to use the muslin cloth. If you're looking to try the cleanser but are trying to save where you can, you could just use a different cloth or to be honest, you could just use your fingers to wipe all of that cleanser away. I think the cleanser is, you know, the, the star in this relationship between the cloth and the cleanser. So that feels really, really nice. Um, it did remove my makeup really well. It removed my eye makeup really well. And my face feels really smooth. It feels really hydrated, actually. So just because it's my normal routine, I'm gonna go in with one more time of this cleanser since I like doing a double cleanse. You do not have to do this whatsoever, or you could go back in with a different cleanser if you had one. Okay, and now I have a nice clean skin. So the last step it says to do with the cloth, I'm just going to flip it inside out so it looks dirty, but <laughs> it's the other side of the cloth, I promise. It says to go in with cool water, lay it back over your face, and that's going to help close your pores back up. Alright, so I kept that on there for like 15 or 30 seconds. I'm not going to lie, when I am cleansing my face at night, I'm usually in a rush. I've usually got kids. I've got things to do. So I can't promise that I would do that every single night. However, if you're looking for some awesome kind of spa-like experience, this would be a really good routine to get into. However, um, I do really like the cleanser. I will certainly keep using this as a makeup remover, that first step in my double cleanse. It did a really, really good job. Okay, the next product we are going to go into is the Eve Lama Moisture Mask. There are a couple different masks on their websites I saw. that I think there's a rescue mask, and then there's this one, which is the moisture mask. This is a 50 milliliter container, and the one I could find for sale on their website is 100 milliliter, and it is retailing for $90. So this one says for best results using the evening after cleansing. That is what I typically do. I mask in the evenings after I cleanse and before I do my other steps in my skincare routine. It says apply a generous layer, leave for a minimum of 10 to 15 minutes. Any excess product can be removed with a tissue. Rinsing is not required. So they are saying this can be used as a leave on mask. That is kind of your choice. I do tend to rinse off um, all of my masks just because I like to go in with you know other things afterwards we'll see how this one does we'll see what I feel like if I should leave it on or if I should take it off so this one I can't really tip towards you because it might kind of fall out it's a very kind of gel consistency I don't know if you can see how liquidy that is right there 
So that's probably how it could be used as a leave-on mask. It would just be kind of a thick like serum or a thin kind of moisturizer. If you are looking to save time in your routine and don't have time to go in with you know a a mask and then a moisturizer you certainly could do this one put it on kind of thick and then just press it down into your skin at the end of like the 10 or 15 minutes okay so let's start the clock for 15 minutes i'm going to come back and we'll see how we're doing okay we are back it has been just over 15 minutes and i gotta tell you i'm not gonna rinse this one off it feels really really nice it soaked in nicely i put it on kind of thick so this would be really great if you're doing your routine and want to throw it on your face and then like go play on your phone or you have to chase the kiddos around or like want to go watch a movie then you could just at the end kind of pat it in and and you're done it kind of like got a little warm on the skin not in any way uncomfortable not in any way hot but i actually really enjoyed that so now we're going to move on to the final product which is this really beautiful packaging this is the face oil. So this one is a 30 milliliter container which retails on their website for $80. So again, very expensive, the Radiance Face Oil. Okay, this one says it is an intensely hydrating oil enriched with antioxidants, quickly absorbs to leave your skin looking radiant, helps to prevent fine lines for smooth and even skin. It says apply two to three drops onto the face and massage into skin. Can be used morning, evening, or whenever the skin needs a hydration boost. So I'm going to be using the, the mask as my moisturizer for the night since I did use it. I'm not going to use the mask every single night. I'll probably use it, you know, once or twice a week as I'm testing out these products. So on other nights, I'll just pull from another moisturizer um, that I have but you would still want to do this afterwards. Face oils should always be the last step in your skincare routine. If you're a little bit unsure, it does get confusing when you start mixing in skincare products. So I have a video right here of a get on ready with me that I talk about how I do my full skincare routine and what goes when and which steps to do before and which steps to do after. So check that out if you would like. But here is the nice dropper and applicator right there. Okay, let's see. Not really scented or anything which is good and i am going to go in hopefully carefully and drop some of this right on my face i don't have a normal mirror in front of me i'm just trying to use the little screen on my camera so hopefully this isn't going absolutely everywhere then i am just going to kind of rub it around and then just like pat it into your skin pressing it nice and firmly Try not to do too much like pulling on your skin as always. You don't want to tug at your skin too much. Your skin will not be happy about that. I do tend to try to put face oils on not right before I'm going to go lay down because you can get your pillow a little bit sticky. It says this absorbs quickly, so we will see. I will let you know on my little updates how I feel like it's absorbing compared to other face oils that I like to use. Always try to pull your products down your neck if you can. You don't necessarily need all the fancy neck creams if you are just using your normal everyday products down your neck. Alright, so that is going to be it for this little session. I am going to continue, as I said, using these products. I will check in with you guys to see how I like it, if I think I'm making any difference in my skin, or if they're just working really well and I'm going to continue using them. My first impressions, I will say, are very positive. I might not use the muslin cloth. Um, I, I just tend to use my fingers because it's quicker for me. Um, but we will see. I will try. Um, I liked the cleanser. I'm always, always looking for a good balm as a, the first step in my, in my double cleanse routine. So I'm liking that. And the oil seemed really nice. Actually, I think just in these couple minutes that I've been sitting here talking to you guys, it has absorbed some, which is really good. It's still going to always be a little bit kind of sticky because it is an oil. And you have to, you know, manage your expectations on that a little bit. I do like this kind of random, but when I have extra products on my fingers, I'll rub it on the top of my hands. That is some delicate skin there, too, that it can't hurt, you know, rubbing extra face products. I rub, like, my sheet mask essence on there as well. All right, guys, so I will see you when I do my check-ins. Okay, so it's been a couple weeks since I started using the products since you just saw the last footage. 
and I am actually really impressed so far. I actually just got back from like a nine day trip back to Ohio where I am from and I didn't do any check-ins because I wasn't really filming or creating content. I was just spending time with my family. However, I was continuing to use the products the whole time I was there and it's been going really well. So I wanted to pop in and give you guys that update. I am really, really liking the cleansing balm. It, it takes my makeup off so well. It feels good on my skin. My skin feels clean, refreshed. So good news on that so far. The cloth, mm, we'll, we'll see how we feel at the end of this. And the face oil, I like. Nothing quite to write home about yet, but I'm gonna keep using it um, for another couple weeks, see if I notice any differences in my skin or my texture or anything like that. And hopefully the next time you see me, we will do a full kind of review what I think about it and especially what I think about the effects versus the price and is it going to be worth it. All right, so let's go over everything. It's been, I think, about a just under a week since the last check-in you just saw and I just wanted to go through the products, tell you my thoughts and close this video out. So the first thing we have to talk about is the cleanser. This by far was my favorite product of the four that I tried. I absolutely loved this. I love doing a cleansing balm as the first step in my double cleanse, as I talked about at the beginning. And this definitely is going to be maybe in my top three, but definitely my top five of any cleansers that I like to use for that step. I really like the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Ule Henriksen has a cleansing balm in their Truth line that's like the orange line. Um, but this was really good. I found it really cleansing, really good at taking my makeup off. I even had one night where I had like lash glue and like a really heavy dark eye look. It did a phenomenal job with that. And it was also just great for everyday use. It gave me a really nice clean feeling is the, the best way I can describe it. You can also see I've been using this for a while and I still have a lot left in this container. So let's recap. This one for the 50 milliliter was $55. That is definitely expensive. However, since I'm getting so much out of it, I don't mind spending more when I'm going to have a lot of product that I really, really enjoy. So this one will probably make it on my short list of products I will continue to purchase. Now, let's talk about this muslin cloth. To me, sorry, it's kind of gimmicky. I don't think you need it. I stopped using it, honestly, after like a couple days. If you're ever looking to really like ramp up your skincare routine, have like a spa night, really do some self-care, sure, use this. It's great. The cloth itself is very nice. Um, it did get a little bit like more scrunched <laughs> up kind of like a brush cotton feel when I put it in the wash a couple times um so the, uh, use it if you want to but if you're looking to save money you do not you definitely don't need this I'm gonna continue using the cleanser just with my fingers and this I, I don't know I'm not gonna use it I actually had to look for it <laughs> to film this segment of the video because I couldn't remember where I put it all right secondly is the moisture mask I found this to be a really good heavy moisturizer. You could use it as a mask that you wash off, but I think it works better as like a leave-on mask or just as a heavy moisturizer at nighttime. It's definitely an evening only product. It does say that on the label. Um, so I do like it. I will continue using it. I don't think I was floored by it. It might not be a repurchase, but definitely a good product. So if it's coming in like a set or you're looking to try it out, it, it is very nice. Okay, lastly was the Radiance Face Oil. This was probably my second favorite after the cleanser. I did really like this. This is also a nice big vial and I've been using it for a while and you can see there is a ton left. So again, when we talk about value, this one was $80. You're getting a lot of value here. It's expensive for face oil. I know that, but if you're looking to make the investment, you get a lot of product. As far as noticeable difference to my skin, I don't think I'm like floored like oh my gosh my skin is fantastic I wouldn't say that I'll be honest with you guys however while I was I think I mentioned that I was kind of away for a couple weeks and I was camping for part of that I did a good job of using the cleanser and taking my makeup off but I didn't necessarily do a good job of using this every night and the nights when I didn't use it I did notice a difference in my skin the next day the nights that I used it or if I was using it on a consistent basis every single night I did notice my skin just felt more refreshed it felt kind of brighter and smoother in the mornings so although you do have to be patient with it don't look for it to be a miracle face oil um, I did notice some difference upon use of it, and I will continue using this for sure. 
I don't tend to love face oils. They're not like my favorite step in my skincare routine, but when I do want to use a face oil, it's definitely one that I will grab for. All right, so that is my full review of this product. I hope that it was helpful for you guys. I hope that if you were considering purchasing them, that this either helped you decide, yes, I'm going to go for it, I'm going to try them, or maybe you decided, no, it's maybe not for me, I'm going to skip it or find something, you know, a little bit cheaper. Um, let me know down in the comments if you've tried them, if you like them, or if you're thinking about snagging them. I would love to hear that. If you found any value in this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a big thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.